Hey what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film. Cabin Fever Part 3, Patient Zero. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. One day, people in hazmat suits inspect a house after receiving a distress call. Inside, bodies are seen with black and rotting flesh as a result of an unknown disease. Just then, a smelly bee man, nicknamed Messy Beard, is being carried out by the people in the hazmat suits. They try to contain him for possible infections. However, Messy Beard resists, but he is eventually subdued and put inside a box. After that, Messy Beard is shipped to an island facility. At the facility, the head scientist is informed by two other scientists about the disease being rampant in several other places. Then the head scientist informs them that he's here for Messy Beard, who is considered patient zero. Before releasing Messy Beard, he asks the employees who have families to leave, and only the staff members willing to risk their lives are asked to remain. When they are left with the volunteers, they release Messy Beard from his box and begin interrogating him. The head scientist introduces himself as doctor and asks for Messy Beard's cooperation. However, Messy Beard is panicking, asks about his family, and becomes aggressive, forcing the staff to stun him. This startles one of the scientists named Bridget to accidentally drop a lab rat and set it free. Doctor tells Messy Beard that all of his family died from the disease, and Messy Beard is still in denial about the tragedy. Doctor reveals to Messy Beard that he is the only one who is immune to the disease and the whole world depends on him. Shortly after, Doctor asks for Messy Beard's help to find a cure for the disease. However, Messy Beard refuses, and Doctor is forced to sedate him. Meanwhile, on another island, a man named Mark is on his way to marry his fiancée. On his journey, he picks up his best friend Dobby, and they continue to the wedding venue. When they arrive, they see Mark's brother, Josh. The fiancé tells Mark to talk his brother into behaving properly on their special day. As Mark speaks with his brother, it is revealed that the woman hormone mixing with Josh is actually Mark's ex, Penny, but Josh is not aware of it. Shortly after, they all proceed to the lunch party. Then Mark and his fiancé go sightseeing around town with their friends. Just then, Penny encounters a woman who is speaking in the island's native language. Dobby understands her, so he translates it for Penny and says that the woman is warning her of a supernatural disaster. However, Penny thinks this mystic stuff only happens in third world countries, so she ignores it. After their finished sightseeing, Dobby and Josh invite Mark on a yacht for a bachelor party on a deserted island. At first, Mark hesitates, but the fiancé allows him to go. Shortly after, the boys and Penny go on their yacht trip, while Mark's fiancé chooses to stay behind. Meanwhile, in the island facility, Messy Beard is contained inside a quarantine room. The other scientist with black hair, short named Brunette, visits him and starts a conversation. However, Messy Beard is agitated because of the repetitive experiments on him. She tries to calm him down, but he demands to speak to his wife and exercise his rights. Shortly after, Bridget comes and tells Messy Beard that his wife is aware of his situation. This calms him down, and he agrees to their plans for now. As Bridget leaves, Messy Beard calls Brunette and threatens them that he's a danger to the entire facility if he loses patience. After the conversation, Brunette speaks with Doctor. She jeers him calling Messy Beard a specimen instead of a human, making Brunette argue with Doctor. Doctor says that Messy Beard can become a threat to humanity unless Messy Beard becomes a cure. At that time, Messy Beard is proving Doctor right as he starts cutting himself with a broken piece of metal from a fence. He then uses his blood to infect one of the staff who is going to extract blood from him. This leads to the infected staff being abandoned and the other threatening Messy Beard at gunpoint. Fortunately, they all calm down and contain Messy Beard properly again. But this led to the facility going on lockdown as Messy Beard caused a containment breach. This leaves only Messy Beard and the infected staff alone in a room, left with Doctor with Brunette and Bridget all alone in the facility. Back at the yacht, the boys are having a great bachelor's party. Shortly after, they give Mark his wedding gifts. Mark unwraps his gift from Dobby and Josh. After that, Penny gives Mark a memento from their past relationship. This causes Josh to be uncomfortable and halts their moment. Then the boys make fun of Mark's fiancé again, which makes Mark walk out on them. Just then, Penny follows Mark to the yacht cabin and explains that the boys are just sad that Mark will be gone from their lives after his marriage. Mark understands their point, but he also wants to grow up from being a college frat kid. Suddenly, Penny tries to seduce Mark, but Mark refuses since she's now dating his brother. After that, Dobby and Mark see the supposed deserted island, but Mark spots a building on that island. Dobby then asks the captain about the building, to which he replies that nobody is there. Soon after, they transfer to a smaller boat to go to the island. When they arrive, Dobby and Mark set up camp, while Josh and Penny go out to dive on the beach. After that, Mark and Dobby start smoking their weed. 
Meanwhile, as Josh and Penny are diving, Penny is shocked to see a rotting corpse of a swordfish. This makes her swim back to the island in disgust, and Josh follows after her. When they get on shore, she tells the boys that she saw the fish at the sea. Because the boys are high, Mark and Dobby start laughing, and Josh thinks Penny just sees things. As a result, Penny becomes upset and proceeds to dry herself alone in the tent. Right then, Penny notices weird rashes on her body, and her nose starts bleeding. Meanwhile, at the island facility, the scientists notice that the disease that Messy Beard carries is much more deadly as they monitor the infected staff. They inform Doctor about this, and he tries to use an experimental vaccine on the infected staff to cure the disease. He then orders Brunette to distract Messy Beard while he gets the infected staff for testing. Bridget also tells Doctor that there is only one hazmat suit left, since the others were taken during the lockdown. Doctor takes it, as he is the one administering the vaccine. He also tells Bridget to trust him and join him in the operation without a suit. Bridget accepts, and Brunette starts distracting Messy Beard by talking to him on the phone. As she starts talking, Messy Beard quickly realizes that she's distracting him, as Doctor and Bridget take the infected staff to another containment room. He then gets angry at her and cuts the conversation. Before ending the call, Brunette tells him that he'll die when a vaccine is made. Meanwhile, Doctor and Bridget try to use the experimental vaccine on the infected staff. However, the staff seizures and vomits at Bridget as his situation gets worse. This causes Bridget to panic and locks Doctor inside the containment room, while she runs and lays down in a decontamination shower. Back at the campsite, the boys hear Penny calling for Josh. Josh thinks it's hormone game time again, so he gets pretty excited. However, as soon as he enters the tent, he sees her rashes. He thinks it's because of the salt water, but she knows it's because of the rotting fish in the sea. He calms her down and gives her medicine. After calming down Penny, Josh massages her. To his shock, chunks of flesh stick to his mouth. Then, Penny suddenly vomits at Josh, and he freaks out, so he exits the tent. Dobby and Mark see them, and they decide to radio for help. Unfortunately, the yacht is not within their range, so they have to wait until tomorrow at dawn to get picked up. At night, Mark and Dobby remember the building on the island, so they decide to find it. Just then, they find a bunker and check it out. Meanwhile, Josh checks up on Penny and tells her that Dobby and Mark are looking for help. She tells Josh to just leave the boys and get help themselves, but Josh refuses. After seeing the rashes on Penny worsen, he panics and applies alcohol on himself to prevent him from getting infected. Back at the bunker, Mark and Dobby break inside to find a radio to call for help. However, Dobby freaks out after seeing blood in the bunker. Suddenly, the facility door locks and they get trapped inside. They look further inside, hoping to find an exit. But instead, they find a mutated person trying to kill him with a gun. They get pushed near a red room, Dobby trips into the water in there, and he possibly gets infected. He then abandons Mark, since he is scared. But the mutated man still chases after Dobby. He almost gets killed, but the mutated person's gun recoils back to himself, hitting him in his skull. So Dobby quickly gets the gun and runs for an exit. As Mark gets separated from Dobby, he finds a room with the research related to the disease. Back at the beach, Josh keeps calling for help on his walkie-talkie. Just then, Doctor receives it on the other end and answers it. Doctor tells Josh to go to the facility so he can help Penny. After hearing this, Josh quickly picks Penny up. However, as she pulls her arms, Penny's skin peels right off. Left with no choice, Josh then follows Doctor's directions to find the facility alone, hoping to bring back help for Penny. Shortly after, he bumps into Mark and Dobby. As Dobby finds out that Penny and Josh are infected, he threatens Mark and Josh to stay back. When he gets cornered, he reveals to Josh that Penny is Mark's ex. This leads to the brothers fighting for the hormone rival, while Dobby watches them. But to his surprise, the brothers only fake their fight to steal the gun from him. After that, the brothers go to Doctor's lab and find Bridget and Brunette. They quickly ask for help to cure Penny, and the scientists proceed to take them to Doctor. As they meet Doctor, Messy Beard reveals that Doctor only lured them to the facility to steal their boat. But Doctor insists that he can help them. He says that they only need the boat to get to the bunker. However, Mark reveals that the bunker is infested with the virus. With that, Brunette realizes that the water supply line from the bunker must have been infected. She then tells them to find the self-destruct button to destroy the facility so as to contain the virus. Mark agrees to help and tells Dobby and Josh to get Penny alongside Bridget and Doctor so they can board the yacht before dawn. As the two teams separate, Mark and Brunette take Messy Beard back to the Red Room, where the self-destruct machine for the facility locates. After setting it up, they follow the other team back to the beach. Meanwhile, the other team is heading to the boat. Bridget asks Josh where the boat is. 
After Josh tells her, she suddenly hits his head, and his jaw flies right off. She then makes a run for the boat, but Penny sees her and they fight. Penny rips Bridget's hair off, and they start tearing each other's skin and flesh apart. But soon, Penny gets pinned down by Bridget. Just then, Penny manages to reverse their position by breaking Bridget's arms. Soon after, Penny kills her by bashing her skull many times with the huge dildo. However, Penny is seen getting weak, and she dies later. During that time, Doctor is held at gunpoint by Dobby. He then distracts Dobby by telling him a diagnosis of Dobby's infection stage. After Dobby gets close, Doctor knocks him out and steals his gun. Doctor then shoots Dobby and proceeds to the beach. Just then, Mark's team finds Josh and learns that Doctor is the cause of all of this. Mark then runs to the beach to confront him. However, Doctor takes him by surprise. Mark drops his gun and gets pushed back by Doctor. After Doctor explains that they need to die to contain this virus, he suddenly tries to shoot them. Fortunately, Messy Beard manages to pick up the drop gun and shoot Doctor in the neck. At that moment, the island starts self-destructing. So they use the small boat to get to the yacht that just arrived. After that incident, Mark tells Brunette that the bunker started getting infected because of a lab rat, as he saw from the records inside it. She then realized that the water supply's contamination started from the lab rat, which Bridget dropped previously. But she doesn't know how it had been infected. Suddenly, Messy Beard shoots the yacht captain and proceeds to drive. Brunet then realizes that Messy Beard has infected them as Brunet starts showing signs of rashes. We then get a flashback of Messy Beard stealing the radio from the abandoned hazmat guy and impersonating Doctor. He is also revealed to be responsible for infecting the lab rat and causing Bridget to set it free by accident. Because of that, the infected rat went to the bunker's waterline, causing infection in the whole town, and the whole country. The movie ends with Messy Beard heading to the mainland, with the evil intention of spreading the infection across the whole world. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.